I'm going to prove that the expected value in a geometric setting is equal to 1 over p, where p is the probability of a successful event. So first of all, we're going to set k equal to the number of trials until you have the first successful event. So in this case, our expected value would be equal to the sum of all possible k values starting from 1 to infinity. The sum of k times the probability of that k, which based on our formula is 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 times p. So what we can do from here is bring this p out in front because p is going to be a constant. And that leaves us with this. And if we write it all out, or at least begin writing out the sequence, or the series, we would get, if we put 1 here, 1 times 1 minus p to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And then we're going to add, if we have k equal to 2, we get 2, 1 minus p, 2 minus 1 equals 1. And then if we use k equals 3, we get this, and k equals 4, and so on. And it's an infinite series. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides by 1 minus p. And we're going to get p times 1 minus p times 1 is equal to 1 minus p plus 2 1 minus p times 1 minus p equals 2 1 minus p squared plus 3 1 minus p to the power of 3 and so on. So if you notice here, if we subtract this second line from this first line, we'll get something that allows us to cancel out one of these, and we'll get one minus zero is one, 2, 1 minus p minus 1 minus p is equal to 1 minus p. 3, 1 minus p squared minus 2, 1 minus p squared is equal to 1 minus p squared plus 1 minus p cubed, and so on. So if you guys remember from probably previous math classes, this kind of looks like a geometric series. Well, guess what? It is a geometric series, and in this case, our rate, or our r value that we're multiplying each time to get the next number in the sequence is 1 minus p. And if you remember the formula for an infinite geometric series, is equal to 1 over 1 minus r as long as the absolute value of r is less than 1. And since p is a probability, we, all, we, we know that 1 minus p is always going to be less than 1. So from here, we know that our rate, 1 minus p, is less than 1, so we can rewrite this using our formula, 1 over 1 minus r. So 
what we get is p times 1 over 1 minus r. And then on this side, we get 1 minus 1 is 0 plus p. We can divide both sides by p. And then as a result, we get expected value equals 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 plus p. And this is our final answer.